how to use Pythagoras' theorem. So firstly, what is Pythagoras' theorem? Here we've got a right angled triangle with the hypotenuse, the longest side of length C, and the two shorter sides of length A and B. We're going to draw squares on two shorter sides. So on the left, we've got a square of A by A, hence an area of A squared. And on the bottom, a square of B by B, hence an area of B squared. We're also going to do the same thing for the hypotenuse. So this is C by C, hence an area of C squared. Pythagoras' theorem states that the area of the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the two smaller sides. So algebraically, we get the equation that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now we can use this equation to find missing sides on right angled triangles. So to start, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the missing hypotenuse length. So here we've got a triangle where the smaller sides are 12 centimetres and 5 centimetres and I've labelled the hypotenuse, the longest side, as x. So Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Rearranging this to put the c squared on the left and replacing everything we get that the hypotenuse x squared is equal to the shorter sides 5 and 12 squared and added together. So x squared equals 5 squared plus 12 squared. This is equal to 25 plus 144, which is 169. Now we want to find x. So far we've got that x squared is 169. So x is going to be the square root of this, which is going to equal 13 centimetres. One thing to check at this point is the hypotenuse should be the longest of the three sides. So we need to check that the answer that we've got is longer. 13 is longer than 12 and 5. It looks like a sensible answer. Let's try this for another example. So here's another right angled triangle. Our shorter sides are 7 centimetres and 8 centimetres. We want to find the hypotenuse y. Here's our formula. So y squared equals 7 squared plus 8 squared, which equals 49 plus 64 which equals 113. So y is going to equal the positive square root of this. So 10.6 centimetres to one decimal place. And again, just checking, this is longer than 7 and 8. It looks like a good answer. So, so far we've used Pythagoras' theorem to find missing hypotenuses of triangles. But we can use the same thing to find shorter sides. Here we've got a right angled triangle the hypotenuse is 20 centimetres, the shorter sides are p and 16, and we want to work out p. So we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is the square of the hypotenuse. So rearranging this by taking b squared away from both sides, we get that a squared equals c squared minus b squared. So the square of one of the shorter sides is going to equal the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other shorter side. So putting our numbers into this, we get that p squared equals 20 squared minus 16 squared, which equals 400 minus 256, which equals 144. Square rooting this gives us an answer of p equals 12 centimetres. And again, let's just check our numbers. The hypotenuse should be the longest side. 20 centimetres is longer than 12 and 16, so our answer is a sensible one. Let's try another example where the shorter side is missing. So we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but as we're missing a shorter side, we're going to rearrange it so it's a squared equals c squared minus b squared. So q squared equals the hypotenuse, 27 squared, minus 4.5 squared, which is 729 minus 20.25, which equals 708.75. Square rooting this gives us an answer of 26.6 centimetres to one decimal place. Again, to quickly check, that's smaller than the hypotenuse. It looks like a sensible answer. 
So to recap, for any right angled triangle with a hypotenuse of length C and shorter sides of length A and B, if we want to find a missing hypotenuse, we'll use the equation C squared equals A squared plus B squared. If it's one of the shorter sides we're after, we'll rearrange this so that either A squared equals C squared minus B squared or B squared equals C squared minus A squared. Either way, a shorter side squared equals the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other shorter side. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.